Are you weary of struggling to bring your desires to fruition? Do you seek to unlock the secret to effortlessly manifesting your aspirations? Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this video. Neville Goddard was a spiritual teacher and author who lived in the 20th century. He posited that every individual possesses the capacity to manifest their desires and shape the reality they yearn to experience. In this video, we will delve into his teachings and how they can aid you in attaining your objectives. So, let's dive in. However, before we commence, allow me to introduce Soothing Megamind's latest release, The High Vibrations Album. This compilation showcases tracks expressly crafted to calm your mind during meditation, manifestation, and sleep. To access this extraordinary new playlist, simply click the link provided in the description below. With just one click, you can enrich your manifestation journey. Firstly, the power of imagination. The notion of the power of imagination has been explored by numerous philosophers, spiritual leaders, and personal development experts throughout history. Neville Goddard, a prominent proponent of the law of attraction and manifestation, underscored the pivotal role of imagination as a potent instrument for shaping our reality. According to Goddard, Imagination is not simply a tool for idle daydreams or indulging in fantasies. It is a potent force that empowers us to mold our reality. Our imagination serves as the creative impetus that gives rise to our desires. When we employ our imagination to envision what we wish to undergo, we construct a mental blueprint of our coveted reality. This mental blueprint functions as a template for the materialization of our desires. The process of utilizing imagination to manifest our desires entails vividly picturing the experience we yearn for and then immersing ourselves in the emotions linked with that experience as if it has already materialized. By doing so, we transmit our desires to the universe and synchronize our thoughts and emotions with them. This synchronization initiates the process of manifestation, materializing our desires into our tangible reality. For example, let's suppose you aspire to manifest a new car. You can harness your imagination to formulate a mental image of yourself behind the wheel of that car. Visualize the specifics, such as the sensation of the steering wheel, the purr of the engine, the fragrance of the leather seats, and the sense of liberation and elation that washes over you while driving. Through recurrently envisioning this mental image and immersing yourself in the associated sentiments, you convey a lucid message to the universe that you yearn to undergo the ownership of a new car. Secondly, the end of creation. Neville Goddard postulated that creation has already culminated and all that we yearn to undergo already exists. He perceived each individual as a divine entity endowed with the power to manifest their desires. Just as God necessitates no manifestation because he already possesses everything he craves, likewise, we have all we desire. We simply need to realize it. Our desires inhabit the boundless realm of potentialities, and our task is to align ourselves with them, bringing them into our reality. For instance, if you covet a thriving career, you can employ your imagination to craft a mental image of yourself excelling in a well-compensated job that brings you gratification. Envision the pride and contentment that wash over you as you achieve your professional milestones, the sense of fulfillment in your work, and the financial prosperity that accompanies your success. By picturing yourself in this reality and experiencing the emotions intertwined with it, you synchronize yourself with the reality where your desire already exists. Number 3. The Power of States 
Neville Goddard posited that there are two states, the state where the desire for the desired thing exists, and the state where the desired thing itself exists. By transitioning from the state of lack or wanting to the state of abundance where your desire already exists, you can manifest it in reality. The state of lack is characterized by feelings of not having what you desire, trapping you in a cycle of scarcity. On the other hand, the state of abundance is where you feel that you already have what you desire. For example, if you want to manifest a loving relationship, you can use your imagination to create a mental image of yourself in a loving, committed relationship. Visualize the feelings of love, companionship, and support that come with being in such a relationship. By imagining yourself in this state of abundance and feeling the associated emotions, you shift from the state of lack to the state of abundance, thus attracting your desire into your reality. Number 4. The Bible and Manifestation Neville Goddard frequently employed biblical references to elucidate his teachings on manifestation. He believed that the Bible contains hidden meanings that unveil the power of our imagination and our ability to manifest our desires. For example, the Bible states, In my father's house are many mansions. Goddard interpreted these mansions as representing different states of consciousness, each corresponding to a distinct level of awareness. To manifest your desires, you must move from one mansion or state of consciousness to another. Another biblical reference Goddard often cited is the story of Moses parting the Red Sea. He saw this story as a metaphor for the power of our imagination. When Moses used his staff to part the Red Sea, he employed his imagination to create a mental image of the sea parting. By firmly believing in the reality of this mental image, he was able to manifest it into reality. Number 5. The Importance of Belief According to Neville Goddard, belief is the key to manifestation. Your beliefs shape your reality, and if you don't believe in your ability to manifest your desires, you will struggle to do so. For example, if you desire financial abundance but hold a belief that money is scarce and difficult to attain, you will find it challenging to manifest your desire. Your belief in scarcity will keep you trapped in a state of lack, perpetuating your experience of scarcity. To overcome limiting beliefs, Goddard recommended using affirmations and mental imagery. By affirming positive statements and visualizing your desired reality, you can shift your beliefs and align yourself with the reality where your desires already exist. In conclusion, Neville Goddard's teachings on manifestation emphasize the power of imagination, the end of creation, the importance of states, biblical references to manifestation, and the significance of belief. By using your imagination to create mental images of your desired reality, aligning yourself with the state of abundance, and shifting your beliefs, you can manifest your desires and create the life you wish to experience. If you found the content valuable and enjoyable, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos. We love hearing from our viewers, so please leave a comment below with your thoughts, feedback, or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.